You know, here in Ireland, we're in our second full level five lockdown, one of the toughest restrictions in all Europe. And let me tell you, it's a bit different at the end of October with the gloomy weather and everything compared to spring. So I guess the whole country has the blues. And since we've got the blues already, we might as well play the blues, right? So today I'm gonna teach you how to play one badass blues that the King Elvis Presley himself used to play. a small part from Baby What You Want Me To Do, originally recorded by Jimmy Reed. And when you listen to Elvis's version, that one is a bit more up-tempo. Elvis plays it like this. But Jimmy Reed plays it like this. Both versions are fine, really. But if you're a beginner, you might want to start with the slow Jimmy Reed version. And the first thing you need to do is to be able to play that basic groove. And even just that, that is already brilliant, right? If you hum a little bit to it. And we're already <laughs> playing the blues pretty much. Now what you want to do is make sure you don't do this. Yeah, that's a beginner's mistake. You want to keep everything relaxed and of course make sure that you press the index finger all throughout the entire riff. Ah, so that's how we do that. Now if you're able to pull this off you should be able to do the same thing one string down, right? It feels pretty much the same. And by the way, look at my right hand. Huh? Don't do this. Way too difficult. I rest and I rest. Much better. Grab your guitar. Here we go. Everybody liked Jimmy Reed. He was like Hank Williams in the sense that uh, everybody uh, that's, that's knew his songs. Yeah. You know, like even if they didn't know who he was, they would know one of his songs. Now, let's see if we can spice it up a little bit. So instead of doing the alternate picking on the two bottom strings, let's do some down strumming instead. That's what we're gonna hear. Now, if you can do that, see if you can do this. Incredibly simple and sounds so awesome, doesn't it? And all it is, is this. One up strum on all the open strings, but it's very important to mute the sound immediately after that with your index finger. Let's hear that sound. After the fourth beat. One, two, three, four. So simple and so effective. Also see if you can do it here. 
back. And here's where you want to play an improvisation and whatever you play, you only have two bars, meaning eight beats, and then you have to go straight to the B7. That's very important. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the B7 needs to be there. Now let's see if we can play it together. This time a bit more complicated. We're gonna add the down strumming. We're gonna add the accent. And see if you can also do an improvisation. Okay, here we go.